Everyone loves pets in costumes, right? But it's important to make sure that our four-legged trick-or-treaters stay safe during the holiday season. Here to show us how is a veteran veterinarian, easy for me to say, Dr. Eric Cryan, um, <laughs> with Nova Mobile Pet. Good morning. Hi, how you doing? Uh, Nova what, Mobile Pet. Do, so, so what is that? Is that literally what it sounds like? You come to us. Yeah, I have a 26-foot mobile hospital that has x-ray, surgery, dentistry, the whole nine yards, and we drive around uh, to people's homes, do about half a dozen house calls, and, you know, take the anxiety of people. Convenience. Which is great for older pets, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. And anxious pets as well. Yeah. Love yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. And who do you have with that? Yeah. I have my own dog, Bliss. Uh, she is uh, modeling the Cowardly Lion uh, outfit. So hopefully she doesn't <laughs> act that way. Uh, the I'm tired there. line is what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she does like her belly rubs. Ain't that right? Uh, yeah. the, she good was news, a, uh, the good news is Bliss has a good home. So don't watch and say, I want to like Yeah, so this is, the, this is the doctor's puppy. Yeah. And you were saying? Um, yes. Uh, she, she was a... Uh, a CNI uh, dog reject who got kicked out for a skin allergy, so she was she's my personal dog. But I figured she could model the uh, pet costumes as we talked about Aww. safety today. You know, it's very she's important so to sweet. keep uh, your pets safe around this holiday season. And with everyone cats. coming to the door, that can Sorry. certainly add anxiety and stress <laughs> both to your cats and dogs and uh, okay. everyone else at the home. So what do we do? How do we keep them calm? You know, the best thing to do is try to desensitize them before <laughs> any bliss. Hi. There's no treats over there for you, girl. Sit down. She smells my cat. Uh, there I'm you quite go. Sure. There you go. She <laughs> likes her cats at home. Um, the best way is to, you know, try to desensitize them beforehand, you know, try the doorbell, positive reinforcement if they're sitting calm, you know, Aww. pet them, give them a treat. You know, that being said, some people are going to be stressed, you know, with uh, coming to the door. So putting a gate up so they can't have anxiety with people they don't know, trying to pet and touch them. Mm -hmm. You know, having a safe place in the back, you know, a room where they can go to that's quiet away from the stress of the doorbell ringing is good. You know, it is always kind of tips you can do to, to try to keep them uh, stress-free. This might be a silly question, but, you know, everybody, a lot of people dress up their, their pets for mm -hmm. Halloween. Are there any dangers in dressing the pets up? Yeah, you got to be worried about certain uh, parts on costumes that can be edible. Generally, you try to avoid putting around their face and eyes and stuff, uh, you know, when you're putting them on, you know, some pets will kind of, you know, flip out and not like it at all. Their pets are pretty calm, you know, bliss, you know. She's got a time limit. Uh, we're supposed to be Wizard of Odds uh, tomorrow, Aww. so uh, she'll be the Cowley Lion. I'll be the Tin Man, and the son and daughter will be uh, Dorothy <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, you know, the straw man. <laughs> all right. Has, has she gone with you trick-or-treating before? I'm only asking because, yes. like, the thought of taking my pets out with all the kids or whatever, yeah. that gives me anxiety. <laughs> it does. I mean, generally speaking, I'm going to recommend, you know, for, for people at home, to keep their, their pets at home okay. in a secure location. You know, I do take Bliss out, but she was, you know, trained as a guide dog. She's very desensitized, but it can be very stressful. You know, a lot of loud noises, people going around in costumes running, they don't see, yeah, running, trying start. to pet them, a lot of strange sounds and smells. So, you okay. know, it, it's generally not advisable unless they're a very well-trained dog. Right. You're a professional. <laughs> it's a professional. Don't try this at <laughs> okay. And I assume candy, too. Uh, keep it away. Or specifically chocolate. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, they don't. Eat chocolate, right? Correct. You definitely Sorry, don't want to give them chocolate. You want to keep it locked up, you know, in a container sealed generally up high where they can't go after it. Um, you know, you do worry about chocolate. The uh, theobromine in it, you know, can cause, you know, toxicity. You know, the most common signs for, for most in, ingestion if they get in candy or things like that or vomiting and diarrhea. Severe cases mm. of like dark chocolate or cocoa. And then they have to call about. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to you want to get that out of their system and treat them appropriately. Sarah, here's the good news. He can come to you, so you don't have to put the cats in the car anymore. I know. Oh my gosh, it's like a whole like you know production oh, yeah. to get the cat yeah. in the car. A lot, a lot of animals like you get really super stressed oh, out. Oh yeah, even Absolutely. when they think they're mm -hmm. anywhere near it. Um, can I ask you about some folks do the um the the dye for the hair, the spray, or and they right. say it's safe. We've we've had a, a celebrity cost dog costume. Right, right. And I've always just wondered, is it really safe? You know, that's a good question. You know, I'm not a chemist, and there's different brands, and so you worry what's in there. And so obviously yeah. you'd want to go with a non-toxic place. But, you know, just like people have the, the non-toxic spray and paint okay. for the hair, you can do it for the pets as well, as okay. long as it's, you know, safe. Sit, Bliss. Come on, girl. I think Bliss wants to <laughs> She stay. definitely wants Bliss a cat. Bliss is fine, Dr. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. She's, giving us, she's giving us blissful thoughts. Yes. She's right. going to hang out she for a while. Be, 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 be safe Careful tomorrow. tomorrow. And thank you for coming in and bringing all the good tips. Thanks for this having me. Happy Halloween from Nova Mobile Vet to <laughs> How do you um, get in touch? How do folks get in touch with you? If you call 1-866-946-PETS and give us a call, you know, uh, you know, you call my staff. We're happy to come to your home in Northern Virginia. Love it. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Take care.